um, is the 27th of July and our baby boy will be born August 16th hopefully that is his due date so we will see whenever he comes um so not that far along so I'm gonna just go ahead and show my hospital bag and his what is it called his diaper bag so um I kind of just wanted to document this whole experience like I want to do um, his nursery tour because it's our first baby and I'm really excited about this journey because um so this right here is his bag it's I got it for um, our baby shower so one of my family members gifted it to us it's very nice um, it has this pocket right here so in this first pocket I just put wipes I know I won't need these they say that you don't need wipers wipers <laughs> wipes or diapers whenever you go to the hospital but I just want to have some of my own just in case um so there's that and then in the second pocket right here is where we have his um other stuff it comes with like the changing layer thing <laughs> I don't know what it's called um a changing a changing pad kind of whenever you go out and about you'll have this with you um but as far as whenever we're leaving or like his outfits i packed three different outfits because i know we're going to be there for two days in the hospital so i just wanted to have one that's like a newborn size one going home and like one whenever he sleeps i guess but this one's the first one i think it's really cute let me put this down um these are the bottoms right here and then the top for him, the little shirt. So that will go together. And it also goes with this little beanie, which is so cute. And then I have mittens as well for him for that outfit. And then a pair of socks. Um, so here are the socks for him for that outfit. So that is one outfit. I think this will be um, his going home outfit. Um, I really like the blue. So hopefully, maybe that will be his going out going home outfit I'm not for sure um the next one that I have is this one right here I absolutely love this one um this one's just like a bigger size um and then it has that in the back um we purchased this for him and I just love this one so much but it is zero to three months it's not a newborn size so just in case if he's a little bit bigger then we'll be prepared and with these bottoms as well I do need to pack mittens socks and a beanie for this outfit because i don't have one so i will be adding that into his diaper bag and then the last one um this one is just honestly i don't know why i packed this one but i figured just it would be nice just to have a long sleeve because hospitals are cold so here is a long sleeve just a white i think babies look so adorable in all white and then it, I put this little beanie with these joggers with, I didn't have a pair of socks to go with those. So I just threw these mittens, I mean these socks and these mittens with it. So hopefully, I'm not quite sure honestly which one he's going to be going home in. I just have these three packed and um, these were like my three favorites um for him to wear from coming home from the hospital so we have those three and then what else i have in here is just some newborn pampers probably not going to use these like this <laughs> probably not going to use these but just in case i have them and then oh i also have this blanket um i absolutely love it his room is safari theme um gray and safari so i absolutely love this blanket it's like this it's so cute nice and soft just so whenever we're coming home there's something just to throw over him even though it's like a hundred and something degrees so he probably won't need this but we will have it and then that is everything for him um i am also gonna bring a swaddle um, i'm bringing two different swaddles but they're currently in the washer because i'm washing all of his stuff right now um, so I will be bringing two swaddles and then also his pacifier. I realize is not in there, but we're really not going to try to get him to use the pacifier because we've heard that 
it can get confusing when breastfeeding and with a pacifier so we might not bring um we might not use the pacifier but just in case we will have that so that is everything that is inside of his diaper bag and then another thing another thing that we are taking is um this little guy right here it goes on the outside of your door and um, whenever you have the baby my grandparents gifted this to me whenever i had my baby shower um, so we'll just write his name, date, weight, and length, and then just put it on the outside of the door. It's just a really cute little knickknack to have. So I'm going to bring this as well. And then we also are taking his car seat, of course. His car seat, um, we are going to put in this weekend and figure out everything. Go get it checked at the fire station and do all that lovely jazz before he gets here. And then, so that is everything for me who was... Um, hospital bag or his diaper bag um but what we're taking to the hospital for him and then this next one is going to be mine and my boyfriend's bag um mainly it's just clothes clothes i have one outfit in here and that's it but i will show you guys now inside of that blue bag i have this little um bag it's kind of like where i just put all of our what are they called toiletry items so we have this guy right here it has shampoo body wash conditioner and lotion so we have this i just left it inside of the baggie so it's more organized inside of there so we have this um i bought some Tylenol just in case if my um, boyfriend has like a headache or something then he can have this there um i most likely will not use this but it's just a shaver just in case anything happens Next. Just a pack of Kleenex. I always take these with me everywhere I go on any vacation. So I have those. And then we also have in here some floss and then some not toothpicks. Um, Q-tips. Some Q-tips and floss. So there's more of them inside of here, but I just took out a few. And then we also have some brand new toothbrushes. Um blue for my boyfriend pink for me so that way over there we can brush our teeth and we're not smelling our teeth aren't um and then we're also going to put it inside of here like the toothpaste and lotion but we kind of use that right now so i'm just going to throw that in there whenever it's time for me to go to the hospital so that will also be inside of this bag and then i also have inside of here granny diapers <laughs> Um, but I heard that, I mean, I hear that you need them after you're born, after you have a baby because like you'll just be leaking stuff and stuff is going to be coming out of you. And so I have those, I saw those, um, were recommended a lot. So I went ahead and grabbed those and I'm taking a, quite a bit of them to the hospital cause I'm not quite sure if, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm not quite sure if I'm going to need them. Like a bunch of them but i'd rather be safe than sorry and then i can just bring them back home if i don't use them so that is everything inside of the toiletry item bag and then what i also have in this bag is my boyfriend's clothes so i just brought him a pair of shorts um, he, he lives in shorts and joggers, so I brought him a pair of shorts just in case he's, like, warm one day. But he's a very, very cold person. Um, and his attire is mainly, like, dark colors, <laughs> as is mine. But, um, so some shorts, a t-shirt to go with that, just a black plain t-shirt. And then I also threw in some joggers because he will be most likely in these the whole time because he, he's just naturally cold and hospitals are freezing. So he will be in this. And then I threw in a black sweater as well for him. So he will have that at the hospital. Um, I also need to throw in his pajamas and I didn't realize that. So pajamas will be coming inside of this bag as well. I'm kind of glad I'm doing this video because then I would have not thought of most of this stuff. Um, so there's that and then so whenever I'm going to the hospital, I'm just going to be in something like comfy and probably just whatever I'm wearing already like at home is what I'm going to take. But I just packed me one outfit, which is my going home outfit, because I'm sure I'm going to be in a gown the whole time whenever I'm there. Hopefully, because if not, then 
I just have one outfit. Um, and that's my going home outfit. Um, so I got this from Target and it's these bottoms. It's just like um, PJ bottoms. And they have pockets. Oh my gosh, they have pockets. I did not know that. I, oh my gosh, I am so slow. But anyway, so there are those. So the PJs and then this right here is the top. Um, here is the top. So it, I got it extra big so that way it's easy for me just to pull it down um, whenever I'm breastfeeding. Um, and then it also comes with this robe as well. So here is the robe. It's very cute. I really liked it a lot. Um, I like how I had like a blue in there since I am having a boy. Um, I really like this um, P PJ set kind of. Um, so there is that. And then also, let me see what else I got in here. <laughs> um, oh, we got some socks. I got my boyfriend's underwear. And then I have my granny panty underwear. Um, that I will be using and I heard that you will use them quite after because you want to like hold everything in like nice and tight like your long haul um you're fat <laughs> um no I'm just fine but and then also inside of this bag I have this little um thing it says hello I'm new here and it has the name weight height date and time for whenever he was born um one of our good friends gifted this to us and i figured this would be so cute to take pictures in at the hospital so whenever he's in that little bassinet thing they clear take a picture of him in there i think it would be really adorable so we have this and i absolutely love that so much and then also what we're going to be putting inside of this bag is snacks galore because my boyfriend can eat like no other he eats so much food it is so crazy how much he eats like i have to go to the grocery store every two weeks because all the all the food will be gone like he constantly eats which is fine he's a boy but and then also just a long charger we have inside of here as well because i hear you need that we also will be taking our portable portable charger to the hospital just in case i can't reach whenever i'm gonna be on my phone because who knows how long yeah, I'm going to Thank be. you guys so much for watching. Um, hopefully this helps somebody. It's not that much stuff. And I don't really know what to take because this is my first baby boy. So we will definitely learn along the way what we would need and what we didn't need. Um, but anyways, I will see you guys next time. Hopefully with a nursery tour or whenever Mijo's here. Um, we will be filming that. Anyways, bye guys.